you got a, you're going through a sense of hopelessness. It seems maybe you feel like things are taking a downward spiral at the moment. You can see this uh, whale is going down and, you know, there's a lot of clouds. So, so something is upsetting you within this relationship and you are feeling a little bit hopeless within it. Uh, there might be somebody around you that is causing, you know, might be some kind of love rival. Uh, you've got this little dragon over here. So somebody is around causing a little bit of problems. And there's an, uh, you know, a feeling of unfounded jealousy, uh, jealousy that maybe you shouldn't be jealous of this person, but you are feeling a bit jealous of them. Uh, so there is a need for honesty within this relationship. You need to really talk about it to get things off your chest and even lighten your mood. So in the past, you've got the karma card over here. So something has happened that has been quite fateful and you all needed to spend a lot more time together. Um, you know, in a more established, um, you know, um, stable kind of uh, way. So going into the future, uh, maybe you're questioning loyalty and devotion in this relationship. So maybe you're questioning how loyal your partner is being to you at this particular time. And, uh, you know, if these things are worrying you, you might need to get some advice and support from a friend. So you need to get things off your chest, really, because you're feeling a bit um, unhappy, feeling very hopeless, uh, you know, looking for answers within this relationship, questioning whether or not this person is loyal to you. So you do need to, to discuss it with your, either your partner or get some advice and support from somebody you trust. So this is the energies for those two weeks. Okay, so the main energies of the card is the Ten of Swords. So it looks like you've ended a relationship right now, uh, and it looks like it was a legal ending because you've got the Ten of Swords. And the Swords card is usually about legalities. Uh, it looks like you'll have both gone your separate ways and you'll are not even communicating with each other. So this might have been a divorce that has happened and you'll are now legally separated. And it was quite a traumatic thing. There was a lot of betrayal, a lot of angry, harsh words were said. Uh, it was pretty nasty, that particular ending, um, you know, and you uh, you haven't really recovered from it. So it was quite, it was something that really, um, you know, got to you. Um, you feel like you've... Um, been completely uh, destroyed by it uh, because the Ten of Swords is a card it is, it is really one of the worst cards within the, the tarot deck in my opinion because it's, it talks about betrayal and you know having people stab you in the back and being left for dead really you know bleeding all over the snow in the in the traditional uh, cards but this one this card doesn't seem to show it it just shows you know um that there's there's so many swords there were so many nasty things said and you know the whole feeling of the card is very blue so it's a very cold parting it doesn't it seems like you know your things were said so harshly and um you know with no feeling and no concern uh, for the other person's feelings either. So that is the the energy that seems to come from this card. So there was an ending here, and it does seem like it might have been a legal ending, so it could have been a divorce. So what's happening with you? Um, you've got the Four of Cups over here, and it's crossed by the Nine of Rods. So um, it looks like there might well be an offer coming in for you with this Four of Cups. Um, it seems like you have been spending a lot of time by yourself, being very self-sufficient, doing your own thinking, uh, not really um, engaging uh, with everybody around you. But somebody seems to be coming in for you and, uh, you know, maybe a social invitation. So asking you out uh, soon. So something coming, you can see this man is, is really, uh, he seems very polite, uh, you know, he seems very together. So this person that's coming in, you know, it, it, maybe it's from some, somebody you work with. Um, but somebody that you have quite a lot of respect for, and they have a lot of respect for you too. So this invitation coming in for you. Now, you're a bit worried or a bit scared to actually even make uh, that move or even accept that invitation. You can see this little girl uh, behind the gate over here, and you can see she doesn't want to really, sh you know, she she remembers the relationship or she's looking in on this relationship here that is going on and it looks like such a perfect relationship, but she's still behind the gate. So something is preventing her from moving forward. Maybe she's scared. It's the fear, a fear that, you know, uh, whatever this relationship is, is not exactly what it appears to be. So she doesn't want to make the move. So even though you want to accept this uh, offer, you're actually scared to do it because of the, pre the previous experiences that you had. Maybe you feel it's too soon to actually make it. Um, and, you know, you're worried um, that you're going to end up becoming dependent on this person. Um, or overwhelmed with this person. You've got your defenses up. So you really are uh, very hesitant to actually accept the offer that comes in. 
So in the past year, you've got the Ten of Rods. It looks like there was that ending of that relationship. It was a very burdensome relationship. Maybe you put too much of effort into it. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, it seems like you all have gone your separate ways. Uh, it seems like you're parted reasonably amicably. It doesn't seem like, uh, you know, there was much of an argument there. There might have been a third party involved within the situation of you. You can see there's an, another person there. So there might have been somebody else that was involved that caused uh, this relationship to um, to dissolve or to go downhill, really. And it seems like you'll have decided to move on. There was a legal case. It looks like there, it was, uh, there was something legal that happened. So there was a court case or some kind of legal... Um, something legal that happened. So um, it was dissolved in a very legal way. And you can see that with this uh, Ten of Swords. It was also a legal dissolution of the dissolution of the relationship. So a divorce. And um, also there was, you can see, uh, with that divorce, uh, there was the ending of that uh, financial um, partnership that you'll had the ten of pentacles so whatever you'll had it looks like you'll had a, a court case and maybe the assets were divided uh between you also you'll even parted company on a financial basis maybe you'll even maybe if you all lived together your whatever home you'll had uh was divided or, or uh but whatever you'll had whatever assets you'll had together that uh cycle came to an end so even that ended so it was completely uh you know a, a divorce complete divorce uh where you split the the, the um, assets and you uh, had a court case and um you know everything everything was resolved very very legally so going into the future you've got this uh two of cups coming in so this particular relationship that you are so afraid to make a move on Seems to be, you know, with the Two of Cups, it's usually about a soulmate connection. And I say soulmate, you know, everybody talks about uh, uh, twin flames and soulmates. What I mean is that it's somebody that you really connect with, somebody who you really understand with, uh, understand or they really understand you. You're on the same page. You'll understand what has happened to the other person. You are very empathetic with each other. And it seems that way because there are two buckets on the floor over here. So both of you have had some similar emotional upsets or similar kind of uh, disappointments in life so that you can actually even talk about it. Now, both of you in this relationship are both wearing masks, so still not revealing everything. You all have, you all are both very scared. Maybe you all are both uh, have got your defenses up. So you will only tell each other so much and no more about what happened. Maybe the pain of what happened was too deep. And have not re you won't reveal everything initially when you meet, but you'll still connect on, on a very deep level, on a very understanding level with each other, and um, you know this is the thing that is going to draw you all together. So this is the kind of relationship that this invitation might actually uh, develop into, because this is um, the Four of Cups, and it's a Cups card. So it's it's a very emotional invitation that's coming for you, and this is the Two of Cups. So it 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 comes down to the two of you eventually and you're connecting on a very deeper level on a very one-to-one -one basis on a very personal level so although initially it's not going to be something where you're both very upfront about things but it's going to develop into something really deep and uh, you know usually the two of cups is a very very a lovely beautiful relationship that comes in so it seems like this invitation that is going to come in for you is a really important invitation and something that you really should consider so you've got uh, the Knight of Pentacles over here, the Three of Pentacles over here. So you yourself are very much um, concentrating on your work, concentrating on doing whatever it is you're doing, and you're not really paying attention to anybody around you. And you're, you know, you're displaying a lot of strength, a lot of skill in whatever you're doing, and people are admiring you, uh, but you are not taking notice of anybody around you. And it seems like you know there might be some. People are attracted to you, so there's a lot of sexual attraction as well that is going on around you. But you have absolutely no clue that this is going on, and you know you don't even see that people are admiring you in that kind of way. Uh, you are you are just concentrating and focusing on the, on the work and getting the job done. So very much uh, into your work right now, and even here, people around you coming. Uh, so. Um, this is the uh, temperance card here, and um, you can see this man is admiring this woman, but she's concentrating on her pouring off her drink and, you know, trying to get her job done, and she doesn't even notice him. And she's got this mask on, she's got a hat with a mask on, 
So she's hiding behind that. So you have got yourself focused on your work. You're hiding behind your work. And that is all you're concentrating on. Uh, you know, maybe you're trying to get your goals uh, sorted out. So you don't see people coming in and admiring you in a, in a romantic kind of way. Uh, you're even ignoring them almost. You know, you're not really giving them any time, any of your time. But there are people around you that are very much uh, interested in you. So be aware that that's going on around you. So what you're afraid of is that if you get into a relationship, that person will deceive you again and make promises to you that they can't keep up because you can see this man's wearing a mask he's wearing this huge turban and all the cups are empty here so you're actually worried that they're going to make you empty promises they're going to promise you things that you know that seem to be part of your wish list but those wishes are never going to be fulfilled and that they're just uh, you know it's all a hot air they're just talking uh, and not really meaning a thing and that they're very controlling and that they're, um, they're liars or they're de deceptive, wearing masks, saying things, pretending to be what they aren't. So that is your biggest fear, that somebody's going to be lying to you and they're going to deceive you again. Especially after this relationship that has just ended for you, you really are uh, you know, feeling uh, very vulnerable right now and you don't really uh, want to engage in anything. So you've got the five of cup, uh, coins over here and... Um, you know, it seems like you were, that relationship uh, you were in, um, the five of uh, coins is usually a card of poverty. And um, even though it seems like, uh, you know, it was something that appeared to be, um, you know, wonderful, it seems like maybe, you know, that relationship that you um, were involved in was not all it seemed to be. There was a very, there was big poverty, big poverty within that relationship. It was something uh, that appeared to... Um, be very fulfilling but it was not at all and uh, maybe it also left you very financially de you know you were very financially dependent on this person and um by breaking up with them it's left you um uh, you know in debt in a lot of debt having to pay off a lot of things so this is uh what is coming that you're having a bit of financial problems as well and this is why you're concentrating on your work and you're not really you don't want to get involved with somebody who hasn't got the means you're spending a lot of time by yourself, though, with the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is also about deception. Uh, maybe all the people that you used to be friends with within that relationship, when you were in that relationship, have now uh, left you. And uh, maybe they have sided with the other party. And it seems like you're feeling very lonely, very isolated. Maybe you've called them over to dinner and they never came. Or you want to have parties or you want to go out and socialize and there's nobody there to go for you to socialize with anymore since that relationship has ended. So you are feeling very, very uh, financially um, poor. You're feeling poor, left out in the cold, isolated. And even with the Seven of Swords, you can see being left out uh, isolated, um, you know, feeling very, very uh, much um, alone and maybe very depressed as well from, from it. So these two cards are talking about feeling alone, isolated, left out in the cold, uh, feeling abandoned, really. Now, it looks like there is somebody that is coming in. So all of this, uh, good news. So this person over here that is coming in for you here, yeah, this invitation, is somebody that is from uh, where you work. Uh, it is big. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be you trying to, you know, earn, but this is definitely an energy coming in. So this person that you is going to make this invitation to you is going to be somebody that you work with, and they're about the same level uh, that you're that you're at in your profession. Maybe he, this is the person that has been admiring you from a distance, you know, also admiring you from admiring you in your job and what you're doing. They're very generous, it seems. Um, and, um, you know, they are a person who will work very hard and, uh, you know, very honest and uh, very down to earth as well. So this seems to be the person that is coming in. And this might be this invitation that is coming in for you. But they have an emotional side. And, uh, you know, it looks like um, it's going to be a good relationship. You will connect with this person. So instead of being very, very scared, because this is the card that's crossing, this is a challenge almost, you know, for you to get over that hurdle of that previous relationship that you had, it seems like it would be a good idea to actually accept the invitation because this person seems to be a very reliable person. The Knight of Pentacles is pretty reliable as well. They might be slow moving in acting, and maybe they take their time to do things or they're slow thinkers, but all in all, they're good people. And, uh, you know, they are reliable and generous and they will they will progress. They are ambitious. They will progress. 
So, you know, they're not going to be people that are stuck in that particular position for the rest of their lives. So it looks like there is that relationship coming in for you, this new relationship coming in for you. And it is something that is worth considering uh, taking on that offer because it looks like it will eventually develop into something that is stable and long term and something that you really enjoy. So um, it's time to put that past relationship behind you. It seems like it's finished and done with. It's over. That cycle is over. That person is gone. And all water under the bridge now. And any new invitation that comes in is something that you really should accept. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Power Tarot. And the first card is the Page of Michael, which says, Exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or um, documents thoroughly. So you could still be um, getting some legal news about the previous case or previous relationship that you have. Maybe just finishing or rounding off all the um, the legal matters that you are involved in or the legalities. You're just finishing off some news coming in for you. The second card is the King of Raphael. Yes, it's safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things. Follow your creative passions. So this person that is coming in is uh, the King of Raphael. They're, they are earning pretty well and they are very established. And it says, yes, it is safe to trust. So they are somebody that you are being divinely guided. You can see um, Raphael in the background of here. And the relationship will be a very healing relationship as well. Raphael is the angel of healing. So if this uh, invitation comes in, it is, it is something that you should accept. And uh, the Six of Michael says there's... It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So this relationship is a healing relationship. It is something that's going to take you out of this previous uh, feeling uh, that you've gone through, this de depression, or get um, heal you from uh, that previous relationship or the previous trauma that you went through in that previous relationship. And it is something that is divinely guided. So it is the light at the end of the tunnel. So whatever relationship is coming in now is something that you really should accept and um, and enjoy it. It's, it seems like it's going to develop into something really good and productive. 